Good morning everybody. Morning. Today we are going on the Dalian Mud Baths Tour which we have never done before in Marmaris. Yeah, so it's an early start. We're here at the ticket office at half eight where we booked our trip. Um, they're going to come pick us up and take us down to the boat which will then go on a bit of a boat cruise over to Turtle Beach and then we'll go to the mud baths and um, all that that has to offer as well. Yeah, and you visit like old temples that have been there for thousands of years, so a bit of history and all involved in that. So um, we'll wait on our transfers here. We booked it with um, Mayara Tours here, but you can book them with any tour operator in Marmaris. It was 15 pounds, no, sorry, 12 pounds for the whole day, and that includes your lunch and all the entries into the national parks, such as where the mud baths are. Yeah, and includes your lunch, but you don't get your soft drinks or your beers, or any alcoholic drinks like that. So, yeah, looking forward to it. We normally do the, the basic boat tour when we go boat trip when we come to Marmaris, which is just your swims and then tourns, but uh, we'll fancy something different this time. So, so come along and see what the adventure is like. All right, our transfer bus has arrived. Let's go to the boat. We didn't have a chance to get breakfast this morning before we left because we had to head down to the transfers. So we're going to try some of the food in the boat and see what it's like. Leaving Marmaris Bay are beautiful and around 30 minutes in we stop for a swim break. It can take a while to get off the boat as there's so many people trying to enjoy these pristine blue waters but it's definitely worth the queue to jump in. Oh, I definitely needed that swim break. The water is so refreshing, it's lovely. So yeah, make sure you avail of it whenever you come. Okay, we've just went down and got our lunch, um, which is your basic lunch ticket is for that. And then, is it a pound for chips, is it? 80 lira. 80 lira for chips for your lunch. So it was a bit chaotic to be honest, the queue was crazy. But yeah, we got there in the end. Wow, look how clear the water is here. That is absolutely beautiful. It certainly isn't like that on the Marmous beaches. That's stunning. So when you come off the boat, um, we were told to go left for English, 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 English speaking instructions. So, wow, this is gorgeous. All right, we've been directed to boat 106. Assume this is our boat for the day. See you later. 
Tower Bartage Turn Beach Boat. Alright, we're in a little taxi boat heading over to Turtle Beach. And we have to be back on this boat for 1.45, so that gives us an hour and 15 minutes at Turtle Beach. Yeah, and he says if we come back five minutes early, they can probably Show see the, the turtles. turtles. Yeah, so um, we'll be back early then. You, you use this same bus boat all day, I don't know if Chris mentioned that in another segment. Yeah, of us. yeah you do, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you're so, just on this boat, you stay on this boat, so that's it. It's like something out of James Bond, it's absolutely beautiful here. All right, we're off the boat. We have to be back for 25 to 12, so we've only got about 45 minutes, to be honest. Yeah. If you want to see a turtle. See on that, we can see it now, who knows. But yeah, there's so many boats here. There's be fish. Yeah. Yeah, water's clear here too. So this is like the other side, this is like the river side, I think it is. On the other side, the beach is the seaside, the ocean side. Turtle Beach is only open between the hours of 8am and 8pm. That's because the turtles come onto the beach at night to lay their eggs. Someone also watches the beach to look out for where the eggs are laid and then they put these little nets around them to keep them safe and there's a big gap where you can't sunbathe. Turtle Beach is beautiful and we thoroughly enjoyed our time here. However, it was overall too soon then it was back on the boats to head up the river to the next portion of our trip. Just a little bit of warning to people that when you come out of the sea and you go for a shower, it's salt water. Just, just, just a heads up there because you're rubbing your eyes and everything and oh, it's like, yeah, it was unexpected. <laughs> Still haven't seen any turtles. Been here about 10 minutes. We'll be heading off soon, but I oh, don't see them. At least we've got nappies. just back on the boat and about to leave the bay when we'd almost given up hope of seeing the turtles when to our amazement this beautiful turtle emerged from the depths it was so wonderful to see it in its natural habitat and thoroughly highlight of the trip i loved it After the thrill of seeing the turtles, the boats made their way in convoy up the Dalian River in search of the ancient city of Kronos. It's one of the oldest ancient cities in the world and this is the place of the Dalian rock tombs. They are over 2,800 years old and nothing can prepare you for the sight when you round the corner and they come into view. They are beautiful. I just wonder how they could have made them up there and the history and the stories that the people who created them could tell. It was truly breathtaking. All right, we've arrived in Dalian for the mud baths. So we have one hour here and then we'll be back on the boat. Which seems a little bit stingy, doesn't it? Well, <laughs> you travel, you're doing it. Yeah, you're, you're to me, you're on the boat a lot of the day, you know, and you don't get much time in places. So, I want a bit of time to sit and relax a bit, but... Oh, this is very slippy. This phone could go in at any minute here. <laughs> yeah. All right, we've had our mud bath. So we're, we're just trying to wait to this dries and shower it off. Yeah, it feels really good and it's the coolest of my skin it's felt all day. And I'm going to look about 25 after. Yeah. <laughs> said, <Wishful thinking. laughs> said all the baldy guys rubbing in your head, which you've done. Because uh, tomorrow morning you'll wake up with her like one morning. <laughs> Remember the guy last year that said a Turkish bath the a of skin like Lionel Richie when I went home? Yeah, that never happened either. <laughs> a bit of a pattern here. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. It's a good place to see, definitely. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. What do you think, everybody? Do I look 25? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes, I do look younger and I, my skin feels amazing after that. Yeah, my skin feels good. I would say that we definitely have to have a partner with you because you can't like really get it off in the showers yeah. unless there's somebody there to scrub your back for Definitely you. need a companion there to help you out there, but uh, yeah. yeah. Really enjoyed it. It was yeah. good. Good fun, good Very experience. Good. Alright, that's the trip over with. We just have to head back to the boat and head back to Marmers. The only thing I would say about the spa is like I don't think one hour is long enough there. Like we literally just had time for the mud and not to experience the thermal springs as well. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. By the time there's so many people and by the time they get through doing the mud and the showers, because there's a few for the showers. Yeah. And you get out of that, there's no real time. To get into the sulfur bath, so yeah, you're exactly right. So I, I would like an extra half hour, I would say. Yeah. You know. Okay, we're back on the Barcast boat. Uh, it didn't take very long coming back on the river boat. It only took about, I'd say, about 45 minutes when we were here. We're one of the first boats back, so we have got a bed in the shade. Thank goodness. The mad people are upstairs getting the sun. That's us back and all scrubbed up after being on our boat trip for a day. It was a really long day. Yeah. Um, didn't get into the harbour again until half seven initially at the transfer shop where we bought it from. They said that it would end about half six. Half six, he told us, yes. Um, so we were like, well, it's not too bad to get it back and dressed and showered and out again. But yeah, it was half seven and then there was then they told us it would be 10 minutes outside of the boat until they took you to get your transfers. So you'd be talking even longer. So what we did, we just jumped into a taxi. There's a line of taxis there at the marina. Yeah. Honestly, just jump in. We were at our hotel in five minutes. I highly recommend doing that for a couple of pounds. It was worth it, definitely. Well worth it. Well so worth it, yes. that we could be back here and organized really yeah. a lot earlier. Yeah, like value for money, like absolutely amazing. £12.50 each for that today. And that was your whole day. And Food, it, lunch included, yeah. you know, we probably spend about £30 on beers Drinks and, and beer. like, snacks and things like that with everybody each. So, really good day. I really enjoyed Turtle Beach. I thought yeah. it was crystal clear water, sandy beach, where Marmaris can be a bit stony and stuff and not, not the clearest. But uh, really I enjoyed really that. enjoyed seeing the tombs in real yeah. life on the side of the mountains because, um, yeah. like, you can see a picture all you like, but until you've seen it with your own eyes, it just doesn't match up. It's yeah. fabulous. No, that's true. Um, the other disappointment was you didn't get enough time, you know, and I understand they have to be back for a certain time, but it, we only got 45 minutes on the Turtle Beach, and then when we got to the mud mass, we only had an, an hour, hour, and there wasn't enough time to do everything, which I mentioned earlier, you know. But definitely worth going yeah. on the trip. Um, you know just to get out see a bit more of turkey like yeah. turkey's a beautiful place beautiful and the scenery beautiful. the whole way around that boat trip was it phenomenal was it was really really yeah. good i really enjoyed the boat trip coming back on uh, the river yes it's just straight back and very very good it was good it was really good so i don't think we would go on it again a second time yeah but as an experience a hundred percent it's worth yeah doing. definitely definitely was so yeah. we're scrubbed up ready to get out we're just a bit later than we anticipated <laughs> So thanks for watching and if you find this informative, um, Hangovers and Hampays, we have a couple other different uh, videos on Marmaris, so it might be useful just to have a look at some of our other content there. And if you like Vegas, that's our bread and butter, that's exactly. our love. And um, if you haven't been to Vegas before, we'll try and put as much tips in there as possible, menu prices, everything like that. and try and help people out as much as possible because it is a minefield when you go over there exactly. and you could be skint in about two days so um, <laughs> but yeah it's fun it's fun it's good and um thank you so much for watching everybody thanks for watching